I had high hopes for this voyage. I had been commissioned by Queen Elizabeth herself to attack the Spanish strongholds of Puerto Rico and Panama, where they stored their vast wealth of gold and silver. I had a fleet of 27 ships and 2,500 men, ready to follow me into glory. I had also a personal grudge against the Spanish, who had wronged me and my kin many times before. I set sail from Plymouth on August 28, 1595, with my friend and fellow commander John Hawkins by my side. We learned that one of our ships had been captured by a Spanish admiral named Pedro Tello de Guzman near Guadalupe. He had taken our ship's captain prisoner and tortured him for information about our mission. He then sailed ahead of us to Puerto Rico to warn them of our coming. We did not let this deter us. We decided to attack San Juan Bay on November 22, 1595. We hoped to surprise them with a swift and daring assault. We tried to land at a cove on the eastern end of San Juan Islet, but we found it too shallow and rocky for our ships. We then turned our attention to the bay itself. But we were met with a fierce resistance from the Spanish defenders. They had sunk two vessels at the harbor entrance, blocking our way. They also had five frigates and 70 cannons ready to fire at us from both sea and land. We engaged them in a fierce battle that lasted for several hours. We exchanged cannon fire with their frigates and forts. We tried to board their ships and fight them hand to hand. But they fought back bravely and repelled our attacks. We suffered heavy losses, 8 to 10 ships sunk or damaged, 400 men killed or wounded, precious ammunition wasted, morale shattered. We also lost Hawkins, who died of dysentery during the attack. He was my friend and comrade for many years. I mourned his death deeply. Unable to capture San Juan or its treasure, we retreated from the bay in disgrace. I felt angry and frustrated by this failure. I had underestimated the strength of the Spanish defenses and overestimated my own abilities. I had made some tactical errors that cost me dearly. I had failed my queen and my country who had entrusted me with this mission. And worst of all, I had failed my men and myself. I also felt some fear and anxiety about my future. I knew that I had lost many ships and men that would be hard to replace. I knew that I faced more dangers ahead as I sailed for Panama where another Spanish stronghold awaited me. I wondered if I would ever return home alive, or if I would die at sea, like my dear friends, but I also felt some hope and faith in God, that he would guide me through these trials, that he would protect me from harm, that he would reward me for fighting against Spain and their cursed inquisition, that he would forgive me for my sins. Sir Francis Drake passed away on January 28, 1596, at the age of approximately 56. He succumbed to dysentery while anchored off the coast of Portobello where Spanish treasure ships had sought shelter. After his death, the English fleet withdrew in defeat.